Hey YouTube, this is Hella Bella. This video is going to be about how to navigate your Amazon Seller Central dashboard. I know that a lot of you guys are just getting started, so I'm going to click through here and just give you some useful tips or show you how I use the seller dashboard. So the most important thing on this front page here is your uh, balance and this shows you how much money you're getting paid on your next payment and it also shows your last payment. So you can see that my last payment was $691 and it went to my bank account. And then you can see that my balance coming up is only $46.42. You look at the sales summary here, you can see the sales for today, the last 7 days, 15 days, and 30 days. So that's a good way to keep track of some metrics here. And on the other side here, you have your performance ratings. Um, one of the big things is customer feedback, so 4.8 stars uh, out of 47 ratings. You just want to keep a close check on that because the time that people typically leave feedback is when they're mad. So always check your bad feedback because a lot of times you can get it removed. So um, if it violates the terms, if it's talking about the item instead of the service, then you can get the feedback removed. I've gotten probably um, three-fourths of my bad feedback removed. So, if we look at Manage Inventory, it's going to take you to another page here. And you can see that it says I have 2,768 products. Well, I don't actually have all those products. Those are just products that I've listed in the past. So, we want to go over here and click on Active. And that's going to narrow down what's actually for sale right now. And if you want to use the Amazon Seller app, it's actually a lot more, um, a lot speedier at this. It only shows your active inventory. This does take a while to load, so bear with me here. And what it, what that does is it's showing only products that are active. So if you have things that are on the way to the warehouse, it won't show up under active until it actually gets checked in. So just be aware of that. Now that I've clicked on active, I can see that I have 815 products in stock. So um, that's just a good way to look at things. You can also sort by um, how how late or the uh, date that you uh, have sent the item in. Um, you can sort by uh, price. A lot of times I will sort by price. That way I can uh, lower the price on things. Uh, moving on, let's take a look at under manage inventory. Another good thing to look at is manage FBA shipment. So if you've sent stuff in and you want to look at whether or not it's gotten there, this is a good way to do that. So under Manage FBA Shipments, you're going to see all your past shipments and the ones that you're working on will be under Shipping Plans. So I haven't sent in a shipment since I left. However, let's just look at July number 13. So I just name all my shipments in the order that I sent them in that month. Um, so you can see that I had 22 items. It says they only received 17. So I would want to look into that and see what's going on with that. So you could click on the... Uh, July 13th shipment and that's not uncommon at all. It may have been that things got damaged on the way or um, there's an error. It just depends. So you can go to reconcile inventory to figure out what's going on with that. Inventory placement is complicated. Before we can reconcile your shipment there needs to be enough time for products to reach their intended fulfillment centers. So what happened in this case is that um, it looks like something is going to another fulfillment center, um, and it says that I can look into this as of August 24th if it's not resolved by then. But anyways, this is uh, another tool. Let's go on over to um, Reports and Payments. So this is another way to look at what you've been uh, selling. Um, and so we can look at my previous period, which was the 4th through the 18th and shows that um, I got $691 um, and if you go into transaction view that's when you start seeing um, how you've uh, which items that you've sold how much you got for them so let's look at August 20th uh, the Norton Field Guide to Writing I sold that for $10.50 you can see that I only got to keep $2.55 and this is another big reason why I am not sourcing books anymore that are under $15 it's just not worth the time and the effort so, looks like I sold um, two of these Rubbermaid mops that I got. I got these for $4 each and sold them for around $18 each. 
and looks like I made 1184 on that so barely even hardly breaking even it was totally not worth it on that either um, let's see pharmacology book I know I got this book for two dollars and it netted me 29.79 so that is an example of a good uh, buy um, but this page just shows you what you have been selling um, another thing to look at is business reports we can run reports So this page gives you a lot of data. We could do a whole entire video on this one page, but I'll just show you the basics of how I use it. You've probably seen this when I use when I make my sales update videos. Um, so you can choose any date for this purposes. Let's just choose what we've done so far in August. So August 1st through the 22nd. Hit apply, and then it's going to tell you that how many items you sold, how much sales you did, and um, your average sale per order was seventeen dollars and four cents so um, and then you can also set it to tell you like how was I doing compared to a year ago so um, on August 21st this year I did eighty five dollars and seventy two cents August 21st last year was only seventeen dollars and ninety eight cents so you can see performance improved on most days um, and then you can go down here this is also important um, sales by category so We'll just look at it in terms of revenue. So on this side, you see that books accounted for 84% of my revenue. So, I mean, you want to look at what you're doing well at and also look at categories that you're doing okay because you might have some room to improve. Like, for instance, toys accounted for almost 10% of my revenue. So I want to think about, okay, where did I get those toys? Are there more toys available there? Do I want to look at to get more toys for fourth quarter? And I guarantee you that some of these toys are all board games because that's a quite a quite a big jump for me. I usually don't sell that much toys. Um, kitchen items. I know that 4388 was a water filter that I sold. Um, and then it just goes on to a few other little small categories. So business reports are important. Um, and you can also sort by, like, say, the year. So if I wanted to look at how am I doing so far this year, you could go January until today and then apply that and you could see um, well we may have to refresh the entire page it's, it's kind of finicky sometimes we'll just go back to business reports um, but I, I use this tool quite a bit to kind of look at look at my performance and kind of judge how I'm doing um, anyways let's see January 1st through today So you can see that so far this year, I have sold twenty-one thousand dollars, eight hundred eighty-five, or twenty-one thousand eight hundred eighty-five dollars worth of merchandise. And that order, uh, seventeen fifty-six, is pretty close to uh, this month's average, which was seventeen. So a good goal would be me asking myself, how can I get this closer to, to twenty dollars? That's something that you can improve on. That's a metric that you can track. So just something to keep in mind. Um, and then if we look at the same date last year, so like for this year, 21885 Last year by this time, I had only done 5580 So I have quadrupled sales just by putting more time into my business. So that's really encouraging. I didn't know that, so that's good for me to see. Um, if we, we want to look at revenue, once again, we can see that 87% is coming from books. So, I mean, I cannot preach this enough. Anybody who says that FBA is not worth it is not sourcing books because the margins are absolutely insane. Um, but that's all I'm going to cover for this video. This is just a quick walk through your, um, your seller dashboard and kind of poking around and seeing some data on things. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have questions or if you have more things that you want me to cover, just leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching.